Hi, I'm Chase thompson Ball with SimplyMac.com. We're a Utah-based company with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips about using the iPad, and I know you're going to love them. Now I'm going to show you how you can change the DNS on your iPad for Netflix and other applications. DNS is short for Domain Name Service. So basically, when you type in, uh, say, apple.com in your web browser, well, apple.com exists on a server somewhere, and that server's real name might be 24.something.something.something. And so what happens is we have been given names, and then a DNS server will go ahead and resolve that or translate it into the actual number of the uh, server that's hosting apple.com. So when you're watching web video, if things are going a little bit slow, it may be due to the DNS service that you're using. Perhaps it's just going a little bit slow when it's trying to translate names into addresses. So we can change that pretty easily by going here to settings. And then here in settings, we're going to go to Wi-Fi because that's where we're getting our internet. We're going to come here and just tap the arrow next to the Wi-Fi network we're using. And right here, we have DNS. If I just tap right there, I can go ahead and change this DNS record to something else that I'd like to use. Now, typically you don't want to do this because the DNS is actually being provided by your internet provider. So it's okay to leave it as is. It's probably not going to give you too much of a speed boost to change it. But if you'd like to change it, you can, um, but you need to know where to point it. You can point it to Google if you would like to just test. So that's 8.8.8. .8 .8. Dot eight, and then finally an eight. So that will point my DNS to Google, and I can go ahead and try running my Netflix or my other apps because DNS again is changing your internet scheme. So if I am having slow internet, I can try changing my DNS, and maybe that will speed it up. Now, if you're going to change your DNS, I actually recommend changing it to what is called Open DNS. OpenDNS is a free service. You can find out about it by going to OpenDNS.com. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the website, it will give you DNS records that you can use on your iPad or your computer. And you can test these to see if it will work better. You just take this number and go ahead and plug it back into settings in the DNS area of your Wi-Fi. Again, I'm Chase Thompson-Baugh, and I've just showed you how you can change the DNS on your iPad for Netflix and other applications.